The straying and suspicious seem to gravitate around Livia. She got herself entangled in a group that believes she is the messiah after a series of shady cafes and a resale scam. I suppose there are advantages to becoming a cult advisor kept lady. A luxury apartment has replaced Livia's cardboard box. Even though Noah is a bit of a slob, she can really hear music. A successful career with Priketsu and the band would be a welcome change for Livia from the cult industry. In this episode, Livia included a plethora of new occupations. She had a number of roles beyond her role as a savior, including model, cult product advisor, idol, and mooch. If homeless is a job, then Mooch is a job as well. Surely she's already had 15 or 16 jobs under her belt. I should have documented all of them. If she continues to rely on fast food and engage in mindless activities like watching TV, playing video games, and napping, they may soon have to rebuild. Considering she lost everything, I don't believe it can be called a job. But I knew she would try Pachinko once they mentioned it in that other episode. Noah is planning to sculpt Livia. I can totally see why some people would be worshipping that. It is a relief to see that after last week's program, the production value has increased once again. To be honest, I thought the animation of Livia gnawing on noodles was spot on. The thought of Livia has grown infatuating to Noah. Despite her irrational outbursts, she seems to be kind and respectful of Livia's space. I'm relieved that Livia has a safe place to sleep at last. It would surprise me if Livia is not portrayed by a genuine person. What an enormous chance that would be to pass up. Despite the fact that the original is superior, Noah is also very perceptive. She is familiar with her ideal customers. Seek medical attention if the effects of an overdose of fan service continue for more than four hours. Now they're going to be in a band, and her time as a model was brief. I like Noah's brazenness when it comes to cult items. She's also quite competent at her job. She recruited the man who swore he would destroy their cult. When you see magical powers, it becomes more difficult to ignore. Her reaction to their excitement at forming the band, wait, is this what I was trying to do, was priceless. Why the heck am I even here? What a nerdy way to say it. Regardless, it is very adorable woman of cult fame. Taken aback by her discovery, that man has really joined the cult. Haha, <laughs> great work, Livia. The least she can do is see that it's wrong. Livia, I can guarantee you that a figurine of you would sell like hotcakes. I hope she follows Livia's advice to the letter, but I have my doubts. As expected, males are the primary focus. She might have gotten away with wearing only a bra and underwear instead of being nude. Even after that, Livia looks totally cool with being naked, haha. Additional fan service, the censorship light, he he, astonished by Livia's self-praise. Great news, Livia will be getting some lovely new cash, here is yours. When compared to others, this job offer seems good. And the title update is hilarious, great for Livia to Livy. a cozy place to stay, more delicious food options, and fun moments. What about gambling? Oh, very bad. It was great meeting your companion at the spa. I'll get her name right sometime. I find it really strange that the buddy can bring up sex work in such a casual way, but whatever. It makes me happy that her new profession as a karaoke host is something she loves. Livia is a decent girl, so she may not be thrilled about being a mooch if it's voluntary, but she deserves it to some extent. Oh, I see. Noah is a musician. Guitar lessons for Livia. Is this season going to bring us yet another lady band? Man, Livia Envious took up guitar quickly. I can't believe you practice that much every day. I really like how Livia is always willing to provide a hand and how she always meets wonderful individuals. To some extent, she is a rescuer. I like that Paraiketsu is receptive to feedback, particularly one as direct as Noah's. You were a little too forthright about your music, Lonoa. I was expecting that too. The part when Livia realizes she's being swept up in all of this is entertaining. Surprisingly, they did not provide me with the continuation of last week's Asher Ripper. Without knowing who the perpetrator was, how can I go on with my life? The improved animation, however, was the first thing that caught my eye. Compared to the whole program from last week, the opening five minutes are jam-packed with animated moments. So I suppose that was the right call. Assuming no one is going to scalp them, all they need to do is sell the Livia figurine and they will be good to go. Additionally, it would not be shocking if Noah ends up with a large supply of such figurines for herself, even though I didn't anticipate Noah to use her abilities to likely compose brainwashing music. We did get the band arc I was hoping for. Who will be rooting for them? I can't help but wonder. All we can do is guess. This exhibition really got under my skin last week with the Not Gun Plow. 
and this week with the pricing estimates. Living with Noe and Livia sounded like a nice, innocent idea at first, despite Noe's clear love for her mosaic. But then I realized that Livia was really just a pet. How can I become a kept man? It sounds fantastic, really. Despite her peculiar musical abilities, Noah is an expert in her field. Can you believe it? Another homosexual girl band concert. I won't say I'm complaining. Livia is the main character in this anime. Also, the Gian Gifu Prefecture is for Giga Chad, which is an incredibly base prefecture. You've successfully persuaded me to come see you. The advertising animation of a prefecture may only include cults, sex enterprises, and 